Hey, what's up guys? It's Mike with Alpha Reptile back with another video today. Today is a really exciting video. We're back at Cody's house, finally. Uh, if you guys haven't seen the video at his place, I'll leave a link somewhere up here for you guys to go check out. Cody, what are we doing today? Uh, so I recently just got some animals from a good friend of mine from Monkey Tales Canada. Uh, we partnered up on a handful of pretty rare projects. So today we're going to unbox some Chinese crocodile lizards. And then we're going to do some rare boas that maybe we'll leave you hanging until we start unbagging them. Yep, I think that's fair enough. Uh, I am going to be behind the camera. Cody's going to be the star of this show. And we're going to show you some incredible, insanely rare reptiles. And uh, let's get into it. Alright, so first we're going to do the Chinese crocodile lizards. Uh, this is a pretty rare species of lizard that has recently... Um, been moved to CITES 1 or Appendix 1. You can no longer really get these guys, however these guys were imported in uh, 2014, uh, before that happened. So these are some of the last guys that you can really publicly get. We got gentle here. So this would be the female here. I guess we'll get her in there fairly quick just because with this being such a rare species, I prefer not to stress them. And like I said, these are coming from a buddy of mine that I recently partnered up with, uh, Monkey Tails Canada. And he had these guys as babies and he's raised them himself. How old, are they? How old are they? Uh, he got them in oh. 2014 as just tiny babies and he's raised them since, so cool. Nice. Woohoo! And the male actually is kind of a, a rare animal. As a baby he was black with black eyes, kind of silvery black body. Um, I didn't actually see him in person as a baby. And I've recently, in Europe, uh, seen somebody else hatch them out as translucent. Uh, and I guess they proved them to be recessive. But we'll have to see what happens with these guys. Super interesting lizard. Looks kind of like a, well, just like a mini crocodile. Pretty cool. The kind of saggy back legs almost remind me of like a tuatara or something. Really interesting. And apparently this is a really mellow animal. So how stoked are you about this, Cody? Uh, extremely stoked. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm not too f familiar with what's gonna, what's up with the male. That's what really interests me. Um, you know, I've kind of recently been hearing about this translucent thing, but my buddy was telling me that as a baby, he was, you know, black eyes and everything. I seen a picture of him actually. Um, so I'm really interested to see like if that's something that passes on or what. But in general, just super cool lizards. These are honestly. Uh, the first time I've really gotten hands on with them. So the cage is four foot by about 22 inches deep once the background's in it and then four foot tall. And it's basically got 320 gallons of water running through it per hour. And underneath it, there's actually, it's running on a sump. So it's being totally filtered and the water actually comes in from this end under the land portion. You might be able to see the return in there. And if anybody's worried about them getting in there, basically it's just an open pipe and it's a, it's a half inch underneath. So 
the return, they can't go down it or anything and the water's pumping through it. So, And then on the other side under the rock is actually where the drain is. And then the drain, same thing, it's the same setup but it has a strainer on it. And then basically we've just got a basking light hanging down low. And then we've got a couple UV, well some LEDs up top along with a UV light. And then I'm going to be basically replacing the LEDs with a longer T5 UV just to get it lit up a little bit better. And then, yeah, we've got some live plants. So once those grow in and everything, it'll be a lot more filled in for them. Uh, I'm gonna try and just keep a lot of visual barriers though, because I've heard that they can be a little bit aggressive with breeding. Um, and my friend did experience, you know, them kind of chasing around being a little bit rough, not this male in particular. He said he's really calm. So, but yeah, all water, they can go underneath the land and then uh, obviously climb up the edges. And that top rock is hollow. I really can't see them being that arboreal, but we'll see. Got the option if they want to be. Yeah. yeah. Now it's snake time. Yeah. Um, I guess we'll just see who we get. So basically the way that I have these labeled, um, black zip ties mean male, white zip ties mean female. So we're just going to, I feel like I know which one this is. But basically what we're going to do is, as we unbox each one, we're just going to put it in a little bit of water and soak it. Uh, I know for a fact they're clean um, because my buddy Daniel's very particular about the way he keeps, keeps his animals. Um, but if you make exceptions for certain animals, that's when you start running risks. So we'll soak them in some water and then spray them down once we get them set up. But let's see who we've got here. So out of these guys, I believe the female is kind of nippy. Uh, this is actually a Bahama boa. And this would be one, actually one of the only ones in the country. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry guys, I've never seen these before, so I'm excited. <laughs> <laughs> Just an extremely unique boa species. Wow. So cool. It looks like almost exanthic. Yeah. Like just by the coloring, you know? Not that it is exanthic, but. Yeah, no, they're, uh... again, with this species too, like tonight uh, when I picked all these up, obviously um, with the rarity, these are, are some of the only ones I've seen in person, so. Extremely unique boas. This would be the male. Um, there's two pairs of these, which are apparently two separate localities. Yeah, I'm just excited. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, super awesome. And so, what? These are Cites one as well. Um, no, these guys can be brought in. Uh, my buddy. So, same thing. My buddy brought these in. He imported them himself. Um, and to my knowledge, these are pretty well the only ones out here. And he only brought in three pairs. There's two pairs here. This is the larger male and he's, we're basically thinking that these guys should be ready next season. Uh, it's a fairly small boa species. They don't get like the, the boa constrictors, that, you know. As you can see, it's even a little bit leaner than a rainbow boa almost. Yeah. Yeah. So we'll do our best to do just these Bahamas first, hopefully in order, in the pairs. And now you can see we're just, right now that's just going in uh, just some lukewarm water. Uh, they'll probably drink a little bit stressed or whatever. And uh, as I mentioned, I know they're clean, but we're just gonna soak them just in case of anything. And we can check them out a little bit more. Yeah, awesome. So this girl actually, uh, when my buddy pulled her out, she was getting a little bit crazy on him, uh, looking like she was looking for some food or just looking to give somebody a nip or something. So I'm gonna be a little bit careful with her. She appears to be going into shed as well. 
Yes, he cannot bite me. As you can see, he's done an awesome job raising these guys up for the time he's had them, for sure. Uh, the Bahamas, I don't believe he's had quite as long as these next guys that we're going to unpack, but he's done an awesome job. I don't know if this is accurate, but I feel like it was probably maybe a year ago? Oh, okay. But he might have also raised them from young ones. I can't quite remember. Okay. He's honestly got such a crazy er, collection that... Uh, it's hard to keep track of that. Yeah. yeah, I was kind of excited. So, and we partnered up on a lot of uh, a lot of the projects that we we're working with. Um, like we've got some some black white lips together. We're doing emeralds. So obviously the shinies, all these different boas, um, and some other cool stuff to come that I'm not going to mention quite yet. Mm -hmm. Now I'm hoping that we're still. On the same species here. Bahamas. We kind of moved some bags around after to make space in the boxes so that we didn't have anybody overcrowded or anything. <clears throat> and out here in Canada, we got to pack them pretty good. So, okay, I'm gonna leave this one. This is the other species that we'll do next. So this is the other pair of Bahamas. This is the other male. Oh, smaller! Wow. And like I said, these are supposed to be two separate localities. Um, so we're gonna keep them paired together, obviously. This older locality, they'll breed together, and then this, these smaller guys, once they're up to size as well, we'll just keep them together instead of crossing into it. Um, I don't think there's a huge difference, mainly other than just the look, but we're gonna work with that, so. Cool. That's so cool. The head's almost like, Almost not even boa, like. Almost reminds me of some of the Antaresia, like the spotted and children's and stuff. Yeah, that's, that, that's really accurate. Right? Like that. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Kind of a weird shaped head. Right, yeah. And tickled regardless. not to pinch anybody. So blacks are boys. Yeah, the color's totally different on these. Yep. They're soft, like a little olive python or something. Yeah. Dancing with a snake. <laughs> yeah, first impressions, these guys probably hate me. What are you doing, man? Most people probably recognize these a little bit more. This girl first. So this is a uh, female Dominican red mountain boa. And he's raised these guys up to where they are now. This is the uh, one of the smaller ones. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> that was nice when it's that way. Yeah. yeah. I don't know if you can see, but this Bahama's actually taking a nice drink right now. Usually when you move anything afterwards, they'll be pretty thirsty. It's a little bit stressful. So this is a few minutes. Cool. And I'll probably have to decipher who's who with these. 
um, as far as like size and everything goes once we get them in the containers just because like I said first time I seen these guys was literally when we packed them up so this one's awesome I think this might actually be the uh, one of these is an orange so apparently as it grows like I guess Whoa. my buddy was telling me that under the chin as babies you can tell because it's orange and then apparently they grow into more of an orange than a red obviously so I think this is that one nice you know they're fairly similar uh, the Dominicans and the Bahamas but basically very similar to a rainbow boa um, I wouldn't keep them as wet or well, not wet but as human you mm -hmm. know what I mean yep. Um, these guys have been raised, you know, in a sterile setup on, on newspaper with a, a high humidity in the room. Um, and as babies, they've been in racks and then obviously transitioned into PVC cages. Um, but yeah, they've been, the Dominicans actually, he was telling me are fairly arboreal like in his experience. Um, he's actually got perches in all the cages. And he says that the Dominicans, more so over the Bahamas, um, were hiding up there. But basically, we'll be keeping them around 80 degrees. But I'm going to keep them the same way, sterile. Uh, I use white paper with the snakes. Obviously, I do hide boxes. Um, I'm going to give them perches as well. Let them utilize it. But they're a small boa. Um, they get five, six foot. And they actually give birth to huge litters as well, uh, up to 40 babies. A small part of why I would assume you don't see them quite as often is uh, they start out as lizard feeders. So apparently, they can be a little bit difficult to get going as babies. But that seems to be the case with a lot more of these kind of odd and obscure species. There's a reason for it, typically. So wow, I just can't get over this thing. Yeah, it's just beautiful. It's ridiculous. You can't tell the orange, but when I like when you put the when I put the flashlight on her, it's like right. Lit yeah, it out. changes right away, That's and it's crazy. like just the angles that it moves at. Pretty strong too. So cool. I believe this is one of the other smaller ones. Maybe there's a little bit much to take in at first. Just <laughs> I'm just a little bit in awe at the moment. And then this one uh, is a separate line. This should be the one I'm thinking it is. I remember the bag, yep. So this is Tom Crutchfield line. Uh, he's got a really nice line of Dominican Red Mountain Boas. And he actually, I don't know if he keeps all of them out there, um, but if you see his pages, he'll actually have them outside in outdoor cages out in Florida. And you'll see him climb right to the top to bask in the sun and stuff, which is pretty cool. If I were to do that out here, obviously they'd be icicles, but. What's the shin he doing? Like he's rubbing his head against it. Oh, is he bobbing? His head bobbing. Yeah, actually, check this out quick. It looks like he's scratching his neck on the plant. Yeah, right? He's head bobbing. We'll keep an eye and make sure that no scuffles go on or anything. Hopefully they're just checking things out. This is the Tom Crutchfield line. Dominican. Wow. 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 Yeah. Dang. <laughs> <laughs> Dang. Oy. I can't even think. Yeah, I don't blame you. You can tell he's been feeding these guys perfect. The muscle yeah, tone. Not, yeah. yeah, they're not overweight. They're not underweight at all. They're... I tell you, these, like the full color ones are so much cooler than like the Xanthic ones. I, my buddy had one at his store and it was like, it was just like a gray boa. I was like, oh, that's kind of lame. <laughs> It was the hate, like the hate, it was a Dominican, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> wow. Wow, oh, that's, that's insane. insane. Yeah, and I guess it's worth mentioning too, that these boas, like the older they get, they're gonna red out more. Um, as babies are kind of dull, like brownie red, you know. <laughs> like the opposite of bull pythons, basically. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, wait. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so all this cool stuff gets nicer with the age. Hmm.
green tree pythons, Dominicans, all of that stuff. Whoa. Yeah. Man, the camera doesn't do any justice for these things. Dude, the iridescence is nuts. Oh, this one's face is getting pretty red. Nice. Hey. My brain's gone, but my hands are working. There you go. That's one thing these boas are oh, known shit. for, man. Bad muskers. <laughs> Okay, I don't know if you know. Last one. Cover it up so that no snakes get snipped. Damn. Oh my goodness. Or is this the orange one maybe? I think this is the orange one. Maybe? I don't know. I'll have to actually get to know the snakes when my brain's working. <laughs> God damn. These are so freaking good. Uh, I want this one to musk on me too. <laughs> that was terrible. Oh. Giving her? No. No. So guys, that's gonna do it for this video. If you guys wanna see more of Cody's collection, uh, maybe some more fish because you got a bunch more rays. Yeah. yeah uh, we got a ton of cool stuff to show you, so if you're interested, Make sure you leave your suggestions or what you're looking for in the comments down below. And Cody, I want to thank you for inviting me over to, yeah, no to check out these insanely cool, badass reptiles that we really, really aren't anywhere else in Canada. So I want to thank you very much. Uh, oh, man. Thank you. Biggest shout out to um, Daniel from Monkey Tales Canada for giving me the opportunity to work with all this stuff. Um, my brain wasn't even really working for this video. I'm just in a bit of awe from all of these things. So, um, thank you, Daniel. Good things to come. And Cody, you can find him at Iridescent Exotics because he didn't show ah, himself out. This is how so, I'm feeling, right? Uh, yeah. I'll do it for him. Yeah, Facebook, Instagram, uh, Iridescent Exotics. We're probably most in active on Instagram, I'd say. And we're trying with the YouTube thing, but I can't get around. Slow. We'll, we'll, we'll wean him into it, okay? But... <laughs> Thanks guys, I wanna thank you all very much for watching. It was a really long video. I hope you guys stuck all the way through it. If you liked the video, make sure you leave a like down below. Feel free to share it with your friends because especially Canadian friends will not see this very often. If you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, anything like that, leave them in the comments section and we'll catch you for the next video. Later.